innovative health and healthcare have been incredibly topical since the pandemic. Can you explain this area of interest and where you think this structural change is going? So we've been investing in innovative healthcare for a, for a long time, in fact, more than a decade. Um, and generally, the companies are, are very similar. They're using technology to provide better products that improve outcomes. And so a simple example would be, you know, glucose monitors for diabetics. Most people would know a diabetic. They would know that they can use a pinprick. They can now move to a monitor that tracks their, tracks their blood sugar levels, um, which is provided by companies like um, Abbott Labs and, and, and Dexcom. On top of that, you then have a glucose pump that's provided by Medtronic, et cetera. And so all of these products are getting smaller, they're getting better, they're providing better outcomes, uh, and so companies can charge more for them. That's the, that's the standard innovative health thesis. Since the pandemic, what we, what, we got, what we got to look at was much more as to who was in the vaccine supply chain, uh, which seemed a fairly obvious place to invest. Um, and the more we looked at that, the more we focused around things like biologic drugs. Biologic drugs are... Um, uh, sort of more grown, they're more cell culture rather than compounds that you would say, would you get like a Panadol, for instance? Um, and those biologic drugs, you know, were critical in like things like MNRA vaccines to help us solve the pandemic. And the money that's being spent in those areas is super interesting to us. And so we're really looking at the companies that provide the equipment to help us make those drugs. And so those are some of the areas we've invested in over the years. And, and, and right now we are very focused on these biologic areas. And could you provide an example of that? Yeah, so, so one of the companies we like in the world is a company called Danaher. Um, we also like a company called Thermo Fisher. Um, but let me talk about Danaher really quickly. Danaher, you know, provides the equipment to help these cell cultures or these, the filtration equipment to help you grow these drugs. Uh, biologics are taking share from regular drugs because they're more targeted. Uh, they provide better outcomes. We literally saw that in the vaccine argument already. Um, but the difference is you have to, it's very much a single use cult, single use product. So once you grow one vat, you have to throw it away and you have to use another one. Once you, you throw it away and use another one. And so, so Danaher both provides the equipment, but most importantly provides the, the recurring revenue, i.e. The, 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 the different tanks that go into the equipment. Uh, they have a huge dominant share, which means that as, as biologics drugs grow and as more spending goes there, they just essentially grow with it. They are a shovel in the biologics boom. And we really like the company. It only trades at sort of 25 times earnings, and it's got this wonderful structural earnings growth trend, which is benefiting from all the money that's pouring into this area today. And the money's pouring in there because they're solving real-world outcomes. Uh, and we saw that in, in the COVID pandemic just recently. And do they have any major competitors? So at the moment, no. Uh, so there's only really two companies in this space, Danaher and Sartorius. There was GE, um, and GE had to sell their business Cytiva to Danaher when they got into financial trouble. And so that really was the time that we invested in Danaher. There was a big transformation when they became really dominant in the space. And so they have more than a 50% market share across it today. They do have competitors, but they, they are very good at buying their competitors and, and rolling it into their product. And so that makes them, it's, it's over a $200 billion market cap company and they are, they are dominant in this space. And so if you like biologics, you, you like Danaher. <laughs>